Hello, I am Tommy Wecklew, the broker for the Realty Medics, and welcome to the future of property management. You will now have access to critical information pertaining to your investments managed by the Realty Medics. Just like your stockbroker has a performance dashboard that shows you up to the second information regarding your, your investments, the Realty Medics now offers a property performance dashboard or PPD. The first step is to log in to your PPD. This will require one additional step the first time you log in. Please visit owners.therealtymedics.com, owners.therealtymedics.com, and you'll see the login page. The first time you'll need to click first time login, and you'll be asked to enter in your email address. This email address must be the same email address we have on fire for you. Once entered, you'll be directed to check your email account to confirm it. Your password should be the same as the one log when you log into your owner portal, but if you don't remember that, you can click on forgot password and make a new one. Once you log in, you'll see quite a bit of information regarding your accounts. You'll also notice your debt and current equity is not complete. This information will be updated once you enter your current mortgage debt into the dashboard. This will be explained shortly, but first let's discuss the main page. Please notice in the top right of the screen, there's a question mark. This button, when clicked, will open to a new screen and provides the definition and explanation for each data point shown. Here you can click on each of the data points and learn why we're using this information to determine the success of your rental investment. Below all of this financial information, you'll notice four buttons, all, needs my attention, vacant, and late rent. The all button is simply just the main page that shows the properties that you own that we are managing. If you have multiple properties with us, you'll see them all listed here. The remaining buttons you can think of as filters. If there's information that we're trying to share with you about a specific property, you can click on these individual buttons and the filtered information will be shared to there. Now let's click on a property to see even more data. Now we are within the detailed screen for this particular property. You can see on the top right the tenant has paid and the status is okay, which means there are no current issues with this rental. In order to see the most accurate financial data, you'll need to add your current mortgage debt on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see the mortgage. You click on the calculator. Input your current mortgage debt. You should be able to find your current mortgage debt on your monthly statement. And once this is added, you'll see the most accurate data. If you don't escrow your taxes or insurance, or you don't have a mortgage, you would simply select not included. The most accurate data happens when the property has been rented for at least a year or managed by us for at least a year. The longer your property has been managed, the more accurate read we will have on your property performance. As you know, rental homes are a long-term investment. It is best not to judge the performance of a rental investment after a short amount of time. Remember, if you have questions regarding the financial information shared with you, there's a question mark in the top right that opens up the detailed explanations and definitions of why we included each of these financial data points. Now, below the financial data, you'll see a lot of great information, which includes your work orders, your leasing information, your property inspections, anything key information about your property. You can click on those information to see within the last 90 days. Let me show you this in more detailed information. So here's an example of a property that was for rent. It had 18 showings, 16 actually showed up. The rent was $26.99. It was on the market for seven days. This is quite a bit of showings for a property in seven days, which means that the price is accurate and most likely it's gonna rent for this price. If we had come to you and said, hey, we think we need to lower the price, you'd actually be able to go into your property performance dashboard and see how many showings there were and why we're recommending to you to lower the price. If this had only been one or two showings over the course of seven days, then we know that this property is most likely just slightly overpriced and we need to make an adjustment. This information is shared with you so you can keep track of everything that's happening with your property. Now let's go down a little bit further. As you can see here, there was an estimate done for the owner. It's in a PDF form. And if I click on that estimate, you'll see that it comes up on your screen. So all of this information is saved on your property performance dashboard. You can actually approve the repair right here, or you can say you'll do your own repairs, or you can actually send a message here to the manager and we will respond. Let's take a look at work orders over the last 90 days. You can see here that this property had three work orders in the last 90 days. If you click the down button, it'll list all three of the work orders that are either closed or in progress, or there's even an option of waiting for the owner to approve an estimate. 
if you ever see that in your account, you can actually click right in the account and approve the estimate on the spot. Lastly, when we do inspections on the property, they'll also be listed here as well. You can click on that and see for all the information for yourself. As you can see here, this is an inspection we did on the property. It has all the pictures of the property. It shows information if it's rent ready, if there's any issues with the property or anything like that. It's all detailed here in this screen. This is very helpful for you as an owner to see all of the information for your property. Everything is listed here on the property performance dashboard. The PPD is the first of its kind and should be used as a reference to keep you informed of your investment success along with key information about your property. No financial decisions should be made about your property using solely this information. We regularly meet with clients like yourself to discuss this data and everything else that would help determine if your property is successful, should you keep it as a rental or sell it, should you cash out, refi, and buy even more homes. Typically, we ask to schedule annual meetings when you and your tenant have about five months left on the lease. This way, if you decide to make any changes, we have enough time to deal with the current tenant. We'll send you an email to remind you. Now, please contact your account representative if you have any questions. As mentioned, your rep's contact information is listed within the PPD along with your maintenance representative. We're very excited about this property performance dashboard or PPD, and we know this will be very helpful for clients to quickly get a glimpse of the rental property success and critical data. Again, welcome to the future of property management designed by a former rocket scientist. We are very thankful for your continued business and look forward to many years of success.